Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at Calfer's solar charger inverter. This is a 48 volt all in one. So you have your charge controller, your automatic transfer switch, your inverter, everything is in this box. So you don't need anything else. It will charge from solar, it will charge from AC, and it will output 120 volt. This is a single phase unit. They do have a split phase unit, so you can get 120 volt, 240 volt. But this one we're looking at is the 48 volt, 120 volt output model. Everything you need. I know a lot of you guys are asking me for a unit that will handle everything. So when you lose power, it'll automatically switch the inverter. It will bypass and run the load on solar. This does everything. So you have the inverter charger. You have your battery. I'll show you a closer look at this. I have a transfer switch on mine, so I can use AC input and generator input at the same time. But I'm going to show you guys how this works. We're going to run a few loads and show you why you should get one of these. The Calpha 48 volt solar charger inverter and the Calpha B51100. I'll also show you I have the solar panels and we'll show you how all that work. So stay tuned for this video. All right, guys, let's take a close look at the system. So this is the Calpha 48 volt solar charger inverter. On this side right here, you have an intake right here with a filter a screen. So no dust or debris will go inside. On the other side, you have another filter with a screen. On the bottom side is where you have your exhaust fans. So you have two exhaust fans. You can see right here, you have your solar input, your battery input. This allows you to monitor the device online. So Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Down here, you see that green. This is your dry contact I was telling you about. You could use this dry contact to automatically start generator. You have your, you can see your RS-485 input. You have two of those. So this one communicates with the battery and this one communicates with your Wi-Fi monitor. So this is the battery I was telling you about. It's the Calpha BR51100. There you go. I like the input because it has this connector. You could easily disconnect them and connect them right here. The system is grounded with the inverter. And you can actually use multiple batteries with this system. You just add on and you'd use the RS-485 ports to connect to the next battery so they can communicate and charge together. All right, guys, here's a close look at the display. You can see your battery, your battery voltage on the top left, 120 volt output from the, the inverter, AC input, solar input, going to the uh, charge controller, battery being charged, that green light flashing, that shows that your battery is being charged and you have AC input. So if in case we were to lose the solar, it would start charging on AC input from the charge controller. All right, guys, I'm gonna take this cover off right here so I can show you a little better the inside wiring. So this is your AC in, AC out. You can see your fans, the battery input right here, solar input, a real clean unit, real easy to install. You have a power switch right here and surge protector right here so if that trips you overload you have it right here everything is included on this unit the unit will actually turn the display off you just come here and push enter it will turn the unit back on and you can actually scroll through and see the different settings AC 60 Hertz, solar. Another thing I want to show you guys, this thing is a pure sine wave. So it's putting out a nice pure sine wave for you. So you don't have to worry about if it's a modified, it's a pure sine wave, pure output power. So on this one right here, I do have my transfer switch. So this is my generator input. 
and this is my AC input. So if I come over here and turn off my AC, you'll see this strip. If I would start my generator, this would automatically take over and start charging for me if there's no solar. So in the event there's no solar, it would switch to AC or generator. So having a transfer switch just makes it better. Okay, so let me get this covered and I can put some load on it. I can show you guys exactly how it works. So these are CalFer's 100 watt solar panel. I have 10 of them on my solar tracker. So we have a thousand watts coming in, going to the charge controller, and that's where we're getting our charge of our power from. So we're pulling about a thousand watts into the battery. Here's a closer look at the solar panel. All right, guys, so this is the app I was telling you about. This is app based and you can control this anywhere on your phone. Doesn't matter. You don't have to be home. You can actually see what's going on with your uh, inverter charger. So you can see right now it's a little overcast. We're pulling right about 600 watts going into the inverter charging the system you can come down here you can actually see your battery voltage the watts going into your battery the amount of real-time current and everything else you need to see so the app makes it real easy to monitor this thing go down here you can set your amount of like what you pay for electricity so you can keep track of it your solar the grid and the load I don't have any load on there, so we're going to turn some load on so we can see what's going on. So the way I'm getting the power into my home is I have a plug that come right into my transfer switch. So I can come over here and just pick loads. Let's just pick like my living room, my garage doors and my garage. I have the master bedroom, the refrigerator, the kitchen, microwave over here. I don't want to get that because, oh yeah, let's do the microwave so I can turn on a heavy load. So you guys can see so all this you just flip what you want that's what the nice thing about having these transfer switch you could just pick whatever you want to power so in the case in the event you lose power these loads will be uh, powered by your inverter automatically okay guys I'm inside my kitchen got the microwave I'm gonna put two minutes on here let's go outside and see what's going on you see right here on the app it's pulling right about 1,359. So you can hear right here, the fans are coming on. Real quiet. So it has a load on it now. So the fans came on to keep everything nice and cool. Pulling 17.5 amps output. And because we have a heavy load, it's going, the, the solar panel is going directly to the load. So it's not charging anymore. You see that green light stop? So it took the solar and it's putting it directly to that load. So once the load is done, it will continue to charge. Real smart system. Let's see what happens once the load shuts off. It will continue to charge through solar. Yep, there you go. It's, the arrow went back and it's charging again. So everything is handled automatically. Now, I want to show you guys what happens when I shut off the solar. I'll come over here and I'll turn my solar panels off. So now, Stop charging and it's switched to AC and it's charging off AC now. So you see the solar panels went away. Now it's charging on AC. So it's recharging the battery on AC because the solar went away. If I were to turn if I were to turn the solar panels back on, it would switch back automatically to the uh, solar panels i got one more thing to show you guys so now it's charging off ac there's no solar what if we lose ac can i start the generator and it would take over 
So let's come over here. Generator starting. See that green light? That since the generator just started. So it's going to turn the AC off, switch to generator. In 20 seconds, there's a 20 second delay. There you go. Now we're on generator power. Switching over. There you go. Charging off the generator. Once the generator goes off, come over here and turn off the generator. It sends that right away. Already switch back to AC. There you go. Charging off of AC again. Like I said, if I came back here and turned on the solar, the solar comes off, it switch right back to solar. Does everything automatically, you don't have to do anything. One of the easiest system to install. So guys, I'm telling you, if you're looking for a system that you just want to install it and forget it, it will handle everything. All I need is the wire to come over here, plug it into that right here, the, the dry contact. This generator also has a dry contact. So two wire start, auto gen start. I would just get me a like a, a two wire, come plug it here, plug one in the inverter. If my inverter battery gets low or a, to a set voltage, you'd actually set it to a certain voltage you want. It would automatically start the generator in the event your battery got too low. You had no AC and no solar. It would actually start your generator, charge your inverter battery back up, and get you going again. So this unit has everything. My unit, I actually have my wind turbine on there also. So that's a whole nother story. But if you guys want to go crazy and add solar, AC generator, and wind, you can do it. This system right here allows you to take care of all that. And it will do it. Like I said, once it waits a couple minutes, this play will go off to save power. All right, guys. So there it is. The Kalfa solar charger inverter with the 48 volt battery. And we have Kalfa's 100 watt solar panels. You have a full system. Check this out. I'll have all the link for you guys. But this system is an all in one. You don't have to do anything to keep it running. Okay, so that's it. Kalfa solar charger inverter. Guys, this is an all in one system. I hope you guys like this little uh, demo I did. I installed this whole thing just to show you guys that if you're looking for a system that will take care of everything, AC, solar input, AC input, generator input, doesn't matter. You can work it with this. You can get the 120 volt or the split phase model, but it will work for you. Guys, Calfer 48 volt solar charger inverter. Get you one. Set your system up. Some of you guys like doing the DIY. There you go. Nice project for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like videos like this, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and stay tuned for more. Guys, thanks for watching, and have a great day. Bye.